Today is December 26, 2023. Um, I received this word from the Lord on Saturday, December 23rd, 2023. Uh, when I asked the Lord who this message is for, he said the church in general, but he wanted it spoken uh, at my church first. So uh, before I get started, as always, the Bible encourages us and we should be heeding that word to test every spirit. Don't take everything that you say at face value. Don't just believe it because somebody is saying they speak for the Lord. Bring it back to him. Bring it back to him in your own personal prayer time. Bring it back to him while you're meditating on his holy word and he will speak to you. He will confirm or deny um, whether or not this word is coming from his Holy Spirit or is coming from another spirit that is not of him. That being said, this is what the Lord said. Hear ye the word of the Lord and do not shut your ears to this word. Judgment starts at my house and has already begun. Be wise as a serpent and gentle as doves, for your enemy prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Let go of offenses quickly. Do not, and he emphasized that part, let the sun go down on your anger. Otherwise, you will have given the devil a mighty foothold. Guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it flows the issues of life. Do not repay reviling for reviling, or let your neighbor hear you cursing them. You yourselves know you too have cursed others. My children, this should not be. Bitter and sweet water should not flow from the same mouth. You are called to forgive. Anger lodges in the hearts of fools. I take no pleasure in this. Be not conformed to the ways of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Keep your mind focused on heavenly things. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Do not quarrel among yourselves. Be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. Of these things, I am well pleased. The tongue is a flame of fire, a world of iniquity. With it, you bless and curse with the same mouth those created in my image and likeness. This greatly grieves my spirit. I will not overlook it. Search your hearts today for any form of offense and bring it to the altar. Confess your guilt for I am faithful and just to forgive and cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Do not let pride hold you back from your freedom. Let the sword of the spirit expose all hidden faults, pulling them out of darkness into my marvelous light. What earnestness there shall be to clear yourselves. What zeal for this will produce in you a godly grief, a profitable sorrow, one that benefits the hearer for you will no longer be comfortable remaining the same your desire for the thoughts and meditations of your heart to be acceptable and pleasing to me will greatly increase with this word. This will be a time of exposure. At times you will feel naked and exposed and run to cover yourselves, but in order for any wound to heal, it must first be exposed and then cleansed to prevent infection. A bitter root among you is an infection and it must be extracted plucked up and pulled out of your hearts, or many will be defiled by it. Take heed to this rebuke, and after today, continue taking an inventory of your hearts. I will show you what lives there. The Lord also wants me to give you the confirmations that I received after this word, followed by a brief testimony of something that uh, some of you may not know but I believe that it's going to be a blessing to many of you to, to have this information and to know it uh, before taking communion again. Um, and that's just if you have unforgiveness in your heart. But we'll talk about that in a minute. The confirmations the, the Lord uh, took me to 
First, he took me to Proverbs. And the Lord had me write down every verse that had to do with idle talk and a hasty tongue. And he told me when to stop. So the first one was Proverbs chapter 13, verse 3. Whoever guards his mouth preserves his life. He who opens wide his lips comes to ruin. Proverbs 14, 3. By the mouth of a fool, a rod comes a rod for his back, but the lips of the wise will preserve them. Proverbs 15, verses 1 to 2. A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. The tongue of the wise commends knowledge, but the mouth of fools pours out folly. Proverbs 15, 4. A gentle tongue is a tree of knowledge, but perverseness in it breaks the spirit. Proverbs 15, 7. The lips of the wise spread knowledge, not so the hearts of fools. Proverbs 15, 8, a hot-tempered man stirs up strife, but he who is slow to anger quiets contention. Proverbs 15, 28, the heart of the righteous ponders how to answer, but the mouth of the wicked pours out evil things. Proverbs 19, 11, good sense makes one slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook an offense. Then the Lord brought me um, to Proverbs 18. Forgive me, I didn't write down the verse. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruits. Then he took me to Isaiah chapter 59, verse 21. And as for me, this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. My spirit that is upon you and my words that I have put in your mouth. For out of the mouth of your offspring... Heard the Lord say, your children will praise me. For out of the mouth of your children's offspring, says the Lord, from this time forth and forevermore. Then just last night, I pulled up a YouTube video of Todd White. It was titled, Giving Everything for Jesus. And at one point, he started talking about how no man can tame the tongue. How it's full of unruly poison. He went on to say, let me see the way you love the Lord by how you treat people, by how you talk to people. I want to end by being transparent with you um, and also sharing something with you that I think all of you need to know because uh, the churches do not always warn you about this, but the Bible does. So the Bible says that when we partake in communion, which is the bread and the wine, his body that was broken for us, Jesus Christ, and the blood that was poured out on our behalf to atone for our sin. When we partake in this and we have any form of offense, resentment, bitterness, unforgiveness, anything in our hearts against someone, we are partaking of communion unworthily. So I should have took it as a sign when I was at the conference that I went to in Orlando, the church conference, and it was an amazing conference. On the very last night, they took communion. And I know that I had let offense get into my heart. And I had prayed for God to remove it, but I hadn't really dealt with it accordingly. So I went to open up. And the little wafer came out without a problem. But when I went to open up the grape juice or the wine, whatever the, whatever you partake in, it was fighting me. I couldn't even get the lid off. And so I ended up squeezing it out. I should have taken it as a sign. This is not the time to do this. Because the Bible is clear that if you have an offense against your brother or sister, that you are not even to pray until you have made it right. You are not even to bring your petitions and requests before the Lord until you have made it right. I say that to say this. The Bible is very clear that when we take of communion unworthily, we bring sickness on ourselves. I was standing there and towards the end of the ceremony, 
where um, a couple of people were being uh, acknowledged for some some things that they had done within the church, and one person had just uh, graduated uh, ministry school. And I started to feel unbelievably nauseous. And I had to leave the room. I, I had to walk away and go outside and get some fresh air. And I was outside of my hotel room. I couldn't get into the hotel room because all of the people um, that I was staying with, they were downstairs at this conference for a while. For the next two hours, I had to pray for the sickness to break. Lord, forgive me. Lord, I know I shouldn't have done that. Lord, I know that you were, you were trying to stop me from partaking unworthily in communion and I didn't listen. For two hours, I was sick to my stomach and prayed 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 until it broke. So I encourage you yet again, if you are at church and they bring out the bread and the wine and they offer you to partake in it and you know you have offense, bitterness, resentment, unforgiveness in your heart and that goes for yourself that goes for your brothers and sisters anyone you know and it also goes for being angry at God do not partake in that until your heart is right until he has fixed your heart posture until Jesus Christ himself has enabled you not by any might or power of your own but by his spirit the Holy Spirit is the one who's going to enable you to finally let those offenses go and be free because whom the sun sets free is free indeed.